Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about mold prevention on garments in apparel industry. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. Mold prevention on garments. Moisture effect control and checking procedure. Mold prevention in apparel industry. Mold is a type of fungus. Mold can grow on almost all organic material as long as moisture and oxygen are present. Mold eventually causes structural damage to the building, building materials and manufacturing product of a garments industry. To control mold, you need to have a good idea of how mold prevention in the apparel industry can be applied. Due to molding in garments, the apparel manufacturer gets a big amount of financial claim from a customer. So it's very necessary to adopt a control measure to prevent mold from garments. Environmental factors affecting mold formation. Humidity. The most important environmental factor affecting mold formation is moisture. Mold requires water to grow damp surfaces, condensation or moisture in the air. Mold grows the best in high humidity environments. However, different types of mold require different amounts of moisture to grow. Humidity and temperature also work in congestion with high relative humidity in the air requiring lower temperatures to discourage the growth of mold. Temperature. Many types of mold are capable of developing in a wide range of temperatures as long as moisture is present. However, mold grows best in warm temperatures. Oxygen. As with other fungi, mold requires oxygen to grow. This means vacuum sealing products can help reduce the risk of mold growth. Food sources for mold. Mold can feed on almost any organic material as one of its primary sources of nutrients is cellulose, which is found in wood, cloth, leather, paper and anything with natural fibers. Causes of mold in apparel industry Improper storage method conditions Unsealed packaging Incorrect procedure to operate the vacuum system of the pressing table Poor storage of anti-molding materials before packing Poor ventilation of finished garments Poor storage of finished garments Wrong timing to pack pressed garments Poor loading environment Minor and major roof leaks Dark space in factory indoor also creates a mold. Leaking or condensing water pipes, especially pipes inside wall cavities. Leaking fire protection sprinkler systems. Landscaping gutters and downspots that direct water into or under a building. High humidity, 60% or more relative humidity and condensation. Mold preventive action for garments. Set mold prevention policy or SOP for workplace. Staff training awareness creation. Develop the humidity control system for every workstation. Keep good general housekeeping. Daily checks humidity level and keep records accordingly. Good storage condition of incoming materials and finished products. Good shipping condition of finished products and checking the delivery container. Use ultraviolet light. Mold cannot grow under ultraviolet light. Maintain relative humidity RH less than 55% or 60%. Maintain temperature 72, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The ventilation or dehumidifier system should be there. Ensure section cleanliness. Mold prevention in garments warehouse store. Keep your warehouse organized. No sign of mildew on the wall floor in the warehouse and conduct mold check weekly basis. All packed cartons for trim and finished garment must be loaded on the wooden plastic pallets and at least about 1 meter away from the walls and windows. Maintain a relative humidity of about 55% and humidity is to be measured daily basis and maintain proper records. Protect all trims, fabric and garment by storing them in poly bags or cartons. Empty cartons must be placed on pallets and well covered by poly sheet or cloths before use. When there is any doubt, then you need to measure the moisture content 
of the cotton by moisture meter machine the reading should be less than 8% apply first in first out method for all raw materials mold prevention in factory workplace apply vacuum function correctly on the pressing table leave the garments on vacuum table for 5 seconds more after steaming in order to remove moisture from the garments the pressing table must connect with steam ducts to remove the vapor out from the building increase air ventilation by using big fans in the finishing areas garments cannot be piled up too high right after pressing quantity can be 20 pieces for denim products and 30 pieces for non denim products garments cannot be packed until they are exposed to an open environment for at least 12 hours anti molding materials example silica gels must be stored in the original packing material until they are required to put into the poly bags or cartons mold prevention in factory workplace measure the garment moisture content by moisture meter machine for each shipment especially during the high humid season the max reading is 8% if garments are failed dry them in the dehumidifying room for about one day before repack measure the relative humidity in the finishing and packing area at least twice per day max reading is 55% walls show no sign of mildew conduct mold checks in every week and keep a record avoid placing the garments directly on the floor placing them at least 1 meter away from the walls or windows good pressing table maintenance no water leakage from steam pipe keep the cloth and foam clean and dry by changing it at least once per week mold prevention in shipping container check the container before loading to ensure that there is no hole leakage on the container wall the container floor must be dry and clean loading the goods under a sheltered roof the container must be fully loaded thank you for watching for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when i post a new presentation bye have a good day